Alrighty, alrighty, what is up y'all? Welcome back. Doing a little bit of ice fishing today and uh, we got a little bit of a late start. We had a big snowstorm last night and into the morning. Uh, the highest I went I think was like 40 uh, miles an hour on the way out here. So it was a very long drive. And as you can see, uh, it's already 10.30 in the morning. We woke up at 6.45 and that's how long it took to get out here and get set up. So got to do what you got to do. We're in 20 foot of water. We got camp all set up. We got the cot behind us. We might potentially use that chair. I don't know. Sometimes the cot can hurt your back, but it works great to set stuff on and everything like that. So um, kind of uses as a chair and a table but got the heater going got some camera angles up got the underwater camera it is super super clear water so we should be able to utilize that and hopefully get some cool eats for you kind of just sent it out from the truck walked way out of here picked the spot drilled put the pan optics down and we marked a pretty good fish on the bottom so we're just kind of going with it as you can see there's not really any vegetation down there but so without further ado let's get to jigging get to setting some tip-ups out see if we can get a nice tasty meal hello what are we gonna hit him with today? Do this one for sure. Do a tungsten and kind of a crappie jig off the bat. You wanna start with tungsten or this one? No, I'll do the tungsten. Okay. It has a plastic on there right now, but this is usually a pretty good perch bait, so. We'll see, I have some more of both, so. Alrighty folks, this is the layout for the day. We are in Ooh, there's fish down there. Fish coming, fish coming. Fish coming. Something big on the bottom. Ooh, it's super clear. We can use the underwater camera. Where'd he go? That was a big fish coming too. So, all right, back to what I was saying. That fish left. As you guys can see, we're right here below uh, the zero. Well, about a half foot in between the zero and two and three. We're gonna do some recording on the pan optics. We're gonna hopefully figure out what these fish are by dropping the underwater camera down. I don't know, they're being a little skittish right now. Not even really seeming interested coming up looking at it. So we're gonna drop the underwater camera down and see what these guys are and hopefully get some cool footage for you. Put it down the same hole as the pan optics. And set the pan optics back down. Gotta let it stop spinning here for a second and we should be right where the fish are coming in. I love the underwater camera because if it's a real light bite and you're fishing deep water, sometimes it's hard to tell with the little tap. So you can just watch it throughout the camera and you know when they have it, obviously. So we're gonna switch off using the camera, have some fun, see what these fish are and see if we can get a nice limit. Be able to see him on the camera here. And, oh, he kind of paused. Oh, there. He is. I, I can see him on the back. He's coming to yours. He just pecked it. Get him. Yes. Nice. Might be a big boy. Oh, nice, nice, nice. All right, there's more coming in. Oh, that's a small guy. Yeah. Hey, there's another one. Yeah, there's another one on the screen right here. We should be able to get the next ones that come in. We're finally all set up. Got a Z-Viber on to kind of rattle some in, and let's do it. He can toss that one back, but see if we can get some bigger ones. Hopefully, some big, big ones start coming through. Oh, I know. He didn't hit this. He was looking. Yeah. Oh, he hit it. Dang. He's coming over to mine now. I wish we had the camera down there to see what they were. Oh, yep. He's all over it. Oh, you got him. Reel up. Big yeah. one? feels kind of small. Small? Oh. That's, that's not, a not a bad one. Yeah. Good work, Sash. Thank you. Freaking worked him like no other. Yeah. That was a school of like, what, three or four? Yeah. There's quite a few. He took all my wax. <laughs> yeah, he did. He still got him in his mouth. Mm. Fat guy. Not super long, but that's all right. picking at it and then all of a sudden i'm just like i'm going <laughs> i didn't even see him come in good work sasha thank you that was good I, he would not touch mine but you got him i just have to touch <laughs> i might have to put a little small tungsten on like that and maybe that's what the perch want yeah Oh, 
yeah, they're flying up to it. Oh, he's right up in the camera. He's saying hello. Where he's freaking out so hard. Mm. <laughs> I felt that one. Yeah, I felt that one too. Do you fart? No. Might have to check the pants though. <laughs> <laughs> Always coming up to yours. Mm -hmm. Came in real hot. Two of them. I think you just hit yours. Yeah. Yes. Nice. Got it. Scared the piss out of the other one, but you got him. Well, well that's, that's a good, a good one. one. Nice. You're kind of chunky. All right, I'm gonna drop back down. It was two of them. And I even get my little waxy worm back. How good is he? He's kind of small. Mm, he's probably still eater. Yeah. Yeah. About size of the other ones. That's about the smallest we eat, though. Yeah. Look at the little butch. Nice little guy. Good eater size. There's only two of them that came in. I know, I think I scared the other one. Yeah, you did. He freaking darted. <laughs> I think I got it on the record of the underwater. But yeah, he came right up to yours and oh, it's so funny watching him on the camera. All of a sudden you just see. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Why don't they like me? <laughs> Another one. Oh, he's flying up to you. He's flying. Oh, you did it. Got him. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, he's wrapped in the camera. Oh, oh the perch Whoa. tail. Swoop the camera. I dropped this down because there was a walleye down there and then perch came in. Alright, good work, Sash. I'm freaking stanking it up. <laughs> Four on the day so far. Yeah, same. He was with that one member that was like kind of under, yeah, under me. Know. ripped it apart. He didn't have the hook though. Yes! That was cool. Yeah. They like just a barely little wiggle. Because this was the same one that... That's a nice one. That was the one that came in didn't want any part of it and then all of a sudden he did. A close up. That's a pretty fat guy. Still pretty small though. Just barely nipping it. 
look at him. You want to play? Might be a little better. Sounds like it. Uh, about the same size. I mean, they're not bad, but they're just a little on the smaller end. No, he's wrapped in the camera. Can you get out, buddy? No, I'm just straight. <sighs> what? Oh, do you spook when I... Yeah, it's okay. I don't... He Damn was kind of slow and nice. It's just that he's wrapped around it. I don't know how to get it off without moving it. Hold okay. this. Oh, got him, got him, got him, got him. Well then, that was easy. Okay, cool. The other one's coming. Oh, yeah, it's coming back. Oh, here comes one to me. You like that? Got him. He was just staring at it, and I raised it up, and he loved it. Oh, nice. Alright. Kind of a closer up. But they're not big by any means, but. You can eat them. We love eating perch, so if you have enough of them. Pretty yummy to eat. Yeah, they are. I twitched it a little bit and he loved it. Yeah, I saw his mouth go. <laughs> and then he just went, ding! Oh yeah, that's him looking at it. He just did it. Got him. <laughs> nice. He like disappeared for a second. I know. Thank you. Okay, getting bigger. All right, well, they're not super huge by any means, if you guys can see that, but uh, they're a little bit fat, so. If you got enough of them, might as well eat them. The infrared worked good on that. Yeah, I think it helps a little bit better yeah. with that one. All right, it's getting that time. We're gonna try to call in some walleye. She's still with the tungsten, going after perch, well, possibly walleye too, but I'm gonna try to glow it up, try to bring some in, and then she can get the perch and uh, hopefully smaller walleye, and hopefully, well, hopefully we can just utilize off each other. I can bring some in, and then we can both catch them with this nice glow and Z-Viber. I don't know if you guys can see it much. It's still a little bit light out, but glows pretty well. But you can see it in the water. No, maybe not. Let's see if we can bring some fish in. And I do have it tipped with a minnow head too, so hopefully we can get some decent walleye to add to the bag today. I'm surprised none have hit the minnow yet. Lots of fish have been coming and checking it out, but nothing's hit it. Oh what happened? <laughs> to be honest, don't even know. <laughs> it was under the perch. Yeah, that's why I was like, what is going on? Oh, I have a fish on here. Yeah, walleye. A little walleye. All right, well, we got our bonus walleye. He's not very big. Let's see if I can get it out of him and give him the release. All right, little buddy, be free. Alrighty, alrighty, came to an abrupt end. This is what we ended with today. Sash, what do you think? You did good at the beginning. And then I you did, went. and then it just, I wasn't doing very good. <laughs> <laughs> but back cleaning the fish guys. We woke up at 6.30 to get out there at sunrise at eight and it just uh, it took two and a half, uh, two hours and like 16 minutes to get to a place that was uh, 40 minutes away. But sometimes mother nature just gets in the way and you still gotta make the best of it and that's exactly what we did. So I had a good time, dealt with the elements and uh, didn't go skunked. So that's always a bonus and it can always be worse. Sash, had a good time. You did well, especially in the beginning and then I caught you towards the end. But let me know down in the comments if you guys like watching the underwater camera view and the pan optics view, stuff like that. I tried to run another camera. We didn't exactly get all of them. I think we got all but like one or two and the walleye and stuff like that. I think I even possibly got to Northern. I'll put a clip up right here. Uh, looked like a fairly decent Northern. I don't know, maybe 30 inches. Hopefully you enjoyed the uh, different angles and uh, different camera views and stuff like that with the underwater camera. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget that subscribe button. We'll catch you on the next one. Have a good one. Peace.